Now, dogma means a belief or a set of beliefs that you are expected to never question. Never. Catholics believe if a baptized person deliberately denies or doubts one of these dogmas, they are guilty of heresy and are automatically excommunicated. That speech being burned, so I guess. To be trapped by dogma means to limit your thinking based on a particular belief or beliefs. We humans tend to believe something that has been accepted as true over many generations without question. Even if you question it yourself, you salute smartly and continue to follow on as directed. There was this experiment with five monkeys in a cage and a bucket with bananas on the top of a ladder. And of course the monkeys would try to climb the ladder and get the banana. But every time they tried, a hose would spray lots of water on them to prevent them from reaching the bananas. So after a while, they didn't bother trying anymore. Then one day, one monkey was replaced, and a new one was brought into the cage. Of course, he would try to climb the ladder, but due to the social dynamics, the other four monkeys would pull him back. In the experiment, they kept replacing monkeys until none of them had ever experienced the water hose spray, and they still would keep pulling the new monkeys back. Now, that metaphor illustrates dogma, and here's you an example of Catholic dogma. The Immaculate Conception, the belief that unlike any other human, Mary was created free from original sin from the moment of her conception in order to be a suitable mother for Jesus. This is often confused with virgin birth, accepted by most Christians that Jesus was conceived miraculously and that Mary remained a virgin while she was on earth. The Immaculate Conception is a doctrine in the Roman Catholic Church that refers to the belief that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was conceived without original sin, making her pure and sinless from the moment of her conception. Holy Macromandy. The Immaculate Conception is also an example of a crisis in Catholic dogma that cannot be properly explained, other than calling it a miracle. The problem started when theologians realized that Mary would have been stained with the same original sin that all humanity shares. And how could a stained human give birth to the divine Son of God without passing on the original sin? Well, of course, the Bible tells us Jesus was without sin. So the only answer was to create a miracle whereby Mary was conceived without original sin. And by the power of God, Mary's mother, Anne, was impregnated without the passing on of humanity's sin, making Mary a pure vessel for the conception of Jesus later on. Mary was immaculately conceived to prepare her for carrying a divine child is dogma. But you have to accept that without question. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Catholicism, of course, shouldn't be singled out. Yeah, it has a good amount of competition for weirdness among many other religions. Jesus told the Pharisees, who were overzealous in their adding to the concept of labor, as God meant it in earning a living, and leaving one day of rest in seven. When Jesus and his men picked heads of grain and rubbed off the husk to eat and wait for lunch, the Pharisees condemned him by their dogmas about not working on the Sabbath. And he told them they missed the point. The Sabbath was a gift from God, not a burden, just as finding lunch at hand was a gift. Strict dogma scares people these days, even to these days, yes. Scares me, scares you. For me, the problem with dogma is the unquestioning nature to authority. It is one thing to follow authority. It is another thing to just blindly follow authority regardless of what that authority tells you to do. It is just the type of behavior that leads to the inquisitions and holocausts and such. Just my opinion, but it seems irresponsible to live your life that way. And let's finish with something from Steve Jobs in the 1980s. Your time's limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Have a great day.